And it was nine months ago today that a series of tornadoes tore through much of the state, and no place was hit harder than Hamden. Sleeping Giant State Park is still closed. News 8's Kent Pierce spoke to some of the people involved in the cleanup, and he is live now with the latest on when that park might reopen. Hi, Kent. Good afternoon to you, Laura. It might reopen for Memorial Day. That's might. Believe it or not, Memorial Day weekend, just 14 weeks from now, there is still a lot to get done at Sleeping Giant, especially on the popular Tower Trail that goes up to the top of the mountain. Even with the snow, the entrance to Sleeping Giant State Park looks clean and clear. It's tough to tell. A lot of work still needs to be done. It's tougher still to know when it will be done. You know, you got to get contractors. It has to go through the bidding process. It has to be approved. You know, things just take time. It took only minutes for a tornado to tear through Hamden last May, snapping full-grown trees like twigs and wiping out the pine grove at the park entrance. Since then, workers have cleared 1,953 trees. The state has spent three-quarters of a million dollars. They put a new roof on the pavilion and planted grass where the pine grove used to be. We're not sure yet what spring will show, whether or not um, you know, it will actually sprout. And we don't want a mud bath. You know, you can't have people in tromping through the mud, and that just makes a mess. That is one of many things making the park's reopening date uncertain. Another is the ice storm that brought down still more trees last month. We had a little more damage. Uh, they they did report to me that they had a f uh, quite a few more trees down, but not not horrible. If you've been by here since the tornado, you've seen a lot of snapped off pine trees down here on the lower level of the park. Once it reopens and you can get up the trail once again, you're going to see something very different because up there it's a lot of oak trees. Those are so strong they don't snap. They were fully uprooted in the storm, and for logistics, they've had to just kind of leave those lying up there. We just wait for the um, contractors to bid on that, and that's going to be the major push is to get that trail open. Once that trail's open, we can pretty much get to where we can start thinking about opening. Until then, the giant named Hubbamock by the Native Americans will remain asleep. The park will reopen when it's ready and not before. There's a spiritual component, um, the Quinnipiac um, Revere Hubbamock, um, and um, it's just, it's, it's bigger than just a park as far as we're concerned. One piece of good news about that big cleanup, thanks to President Trump declaring a state of emergency, the state does get 75% of its park cleanup costs reimbursed by FEMA. I'm Kent Pierce. Laura, back to you. All right.